really good to be with you all today. This is for me, this is a home. And I enjoy getting to come and be with you all. Before COVID, I would come two and three times every year. And COVID made that a little challenging. But now I'm back. And I'm back. And it is very good to be back. I miss many of you. I recognize many of you, and it's fantastic to be home. And if you're watching from the provinces, hello to you. Hopefully, I get to see you as well uh, in the near future. So, uh, if you have your Bibles, I'd invite you to turn to Luke chapter 19. And, and when we look at this chapter, this is uh, when Jesus came into Jerusalem. And a few weeks ago, we celebrated Easter. And the week before that was what we would call Palm Sunday. And when Jesus came into Jerusalem on Palm Sunday, a lot of people had different ideas about Jesus. They thought he would be a king to overthrow the Roman oppression. They thought he would be a political leader to bring change. They thought he had a religious influence that they could control. But when Jesus came into Jerusalem, he did things they didn't expect. And Jesus was the person that they didn't anticipate either. And I think sometimes we want Jesus to do certain things. And we want Jesus to show up in our lives in certain ways. But oftentimes Jesus doesn't do what we expect. And sometimes Jesus does things that we didn't anticipate. How many of you have ever had that struggle? I think that's true for almost all of us. So what do we do with that? I'll bet you you prayed and asked Jesus to do some things during COVID and maybe that didn't happen. Maybe some things happened that you thought, oh my goodness, that would never happen. And so what do we do when Jesus doesn't do what we want or expect? I think it's important for us to think about that. Because in Luke chapter 19, verse 28, 
Jesus is coming into Jerusalem. It's at the end of his life. And it's a big party. Everybody's celebrating. Yay! Yay, Jesus! And they're throwing down palm branches. They're cheering for him. Hosanna to Jesus. And the disciples are celebrating Jesus is riding on a donkey and the whole city is excited and it seems like a fantastic day Jesus is here some people thought he was going to overthrow the Romans some people thought that he would start a new a new kingdom and some people wanted him to conform to their religious ideas and some but Jesus didn't do any of that on Sunday he was celebrated and on Friday he was killed. That's a big contrast. And so there are three three groups of, of individuals that celebrated Jesus. The first were his disciples. And it says the disciples uh, honored Jesus. And had tremendous, tremendous praise for Jesus. But in five days, the same disciples who celebrated Jesus, yay! All of them left Jesus. Because they were afraid. Disappointed. Hurt. And Jesus didn't do what they expected. And I think for many of us, we see ourselves as Jesus' disciples. But when Jesus doesn't do what we expect, do we leave him? We should not. Because Jesus can do more than what we expect. And I find that Jesus does things better than what we anticipate. I'm reminded coming here for 15 years how Jesus has done so many things beyond what I expected. And I have seen some of you for 15 years. And it is encouraging to me today to see you again. And in those 15 years, you can think of the ways that Jesus has worked in your life. So when you're in a season when Jesus doesn't do what you expect, it is important to be faithful. 
กิดการมวยดอสำคัญบ่มพอดนองเนียมยืงจีเนตดาตามปองกู้บ่นโตตุกจัดปองสมัครตรองหนึ่งปอง No matter what Jesus does or doesn't do that we stay faithful ตัวใบเชื่อเยอะอัดเคินจมไล่ด้วยไว้เยอะจองบานหรือการชลายตอบแต่ยังตูสมพระองค์ก็ได้สำคัญบำพอดสำหรับเยอะนู้คือบ่นโตเพียบสมัครตรองบ่เยอะจมปูพระองค์ So say this with me สมท่าตามขยม I will stay faithful to Jesus ขยมนั่งบ่นโตสมัครตรองต่อการเปรสุคริส No matter what happens มันท่าไอ้การลางก็ได้ So this is the first group the disciples นี่คือเจ้ากรมมนุษย์ตีมวยเจ้ากู้เจ้ากระอัจฉริยะบอกพระองค์ The second uh, individual that was uh, came with Jesus into Jerusalem. ยังเคยนักกรมมนุษย์ที่ปีได้บานทั่วดมนารวมชมวยพระองค์มากันที่กรงยูรูสลามนี้ Is the donkey. บกลสมโตบกลที่ปีนกคือสัตว์เลี้ย We don't think about the donkey too much. เป๊ะแล้วน้องต่อมนารวมนี่ยังเอาเสาเกิดเบื่องสัตว์เลี้ยมันยังเกิดท่าขอในจีเยนจุ่มนี้ But Jesus came riding into Jerusalem on a donkey. ปะนะปะอังยังโจดองติกรองยูรูสเลมนเลิกนองสัตว์เลี้ย The donkey carried Jesus. บานได้ท่าสัตว์เลี้ยนู้ดักปะอังโจลนอมปะอังโจล What a great honor to carry Jesus. ลูกแดบองปะอนตานี่มันแม่นเชี่ยมาห้ากตยุเตหรือไอ้นองเนียมเชี่ยสัตว์มวยหรือบกโกลมวยได้นอมเปรสุคริสโจนองกรอง And we can be uh, the donkey to carry Jesus. ดูได้บางคนดังไงยื่นก็อาจเปรียบไปโดยเชื่อสัตว์เลี้ยนได้เชื่อบกโกได้นอมพระสุคริส And sometimes we think we have to be perfect and and beautiful and religious to carry Jesus. จนการจึงกระทำโอ้อะไรเนี่ยได้เบียนพระสุคริสกงเราจะมวยเนี่ยได้อาจนอมพระองค์เตาไกลนะนอมพระวัดต้องเบียนพระองค์เตาจะมวยบ้านดอมมนุษย์บริสุทธิ์มนุษย์นั่งหล่อหม่มนุษย์นั่งโอ้อาจารย์นะ But all of us can carry Jesus. But I tell you, look, that bangpaon, young group, group, here, I know I'm proud of what the men of Paang, know I'm Paang, know to move on. And we can carry Jesus into every situation where we live. Young, I know I'm Paang, I young Paang, I join my clan, the Thai, the Pip, same, same, in life, but young man. But in five days. Jesus went from being carried by a donkey to now carrying his cross. คือพระองค์บันยิงปีกาได้พระองค์ยิงกงนอเลอขนองสัตว์เลียสัตว์เลียจีเนตนอมพระองค์อัลเลอไปต่อเชียรำทั้งไอ้คร้อยพระองค์ไปต่อเชียรีวิ่งพระองค์ไปต่อเชียรนอมเชื้อกางตะวิ่ง And on Sunday he was highly celebrated. No, มาทั้งไงนับเป็นแต่พระองค์มันโจลมอกันที่กรุงเยรูซาเล็มนับทั้งไอ้ตัดคือยังเคยยังมนุษย์จับดามอบอสัตโต But on Friday his body was badly broken. ประเด็นพรำทั้งไอ้กล่าวคือนับทั้งไอ้ศกประกายบอพระองค์ตระบานกีวีดอม And instead of coming in on a donkey with praise and worship, ให้เชี่ยวเชียงจุ่มนู้ไอ้กาได้โจลมอกขนองกรองตามระยะกงนเลิกนองสัตว์เลียสาจิตทำไมให้เมียนมนุษย์สาดมกลางพระองค์ Jesus was stumbling under the weight of a cross ใบเจ็บปรามทายกลายนู้คลายตะเชียเปได้พระองค์ปานจับประดามเก็บเวียดดำรูปกายบอพระองค์อย่างติดตัวมให้เตาเก็บบังคับเอาลีเชิดกางแทมติด He had been beaten and um, completely hurt in his crushed in his body ประกายบอพระองค์เตาเก็บเวียดดำอย่างติดตัว And he was so weak that he could not carry the cross. ประกายบอกพระองค์ซอยรอโหดดอดอัดส่งไปแต่ลีเชิดกลาง So the Romans grabbed a guy from the crowd, Simon. โดยฉะนั้นแต่เฮียนโรมังเคยบุรอมันเนี่ยแต่นู้นองวงมันนู้ได้กระปงแต่โชว์มันนู้จับเตียนมาให้กอดชโมซิมอน And they made Simon carry Jesus cross. บุรอมันเนี่ยนู้กอดชโมซิมอนได้ให้เกี่ยวกับซิมอนมันเนี่ยนู้จีเนี่ยได้ลีเชิดกลางเปรสุกรีวิ่ง And we need to understand and remember that Jesus tells us if we follow Him, we have to carry our cross. Look at my poor man, Chambe. No, no, I don't want to be with my child. But son, but that rock, that chunk, that time, that that rock, that throw, lead to the gang, the block, loon. And carrying the cross can sometimes be very difficult. Hey, God, that young tow na, mok na. Hey, no, I'm church gang, but I'm touching more with Papa. And when you follow Jesus, sometimes Jesus is seems broken. เป้คลาเราเป้ได้ยื่นนอมพระองค์ต่อจมูกเมื่อไหร่ท่าขนมเนียมชิคือบริษัทขนมเนียมชิเนะได้เชื่อเลยพระองค์เนี่ยเราเต็มเส้นเทียนมือหมอกการยื่นหักโดยเชื่อมนุษย์ได้บักใบมนุษย์ได้กระปงตะเวตเนี่ย When Simon followed Jesus, it looked like Jesus was defeated. เราเป้ได้ลูกซิมอนกัดกัดกัดลีเชิดกลางบอกพระองค์เมื่อเต้าสถานเพียบหักโดยเชื่อเปรสุกรีอันเหม็นเต้นเมื่อเต้าเปรสุกรีหักโดยเชื่อกระปงตะปราชัย His body was badly bleeding. ยังเคยจะประกายบอกพระองค์ติดตัวมันให้โฮชิม 
He was a condemned man walking to his death. h a i k e m e to kan p o n g k e k e n a p o n g k l a to c h c h n marup d a k e n n g p h a c h i w t And Simon was carrying his cross. b e c h lok Simon, lok Simon, c h n d a t r u l i c h c h k a n g ดาตามบกลมารูปได้เกิดกระทาติดเจ็ดกิโยต่อสำหรับ This is a big difference than Jesus riding on a donkey ลูกเด็กบองโอนบอยยังมารูปเพียบวิ่งเปรสุกรีมาบ้ายเปรดมนโจกรองทายเดโจกรองนทายตัดเกี่ยวกับอสาโตให้ไปยังเราจะไม่พออังยังก็ไม่รำทานเราอ่อนได้ปนใต้นทายได้พออังเท่ากินเวียดดำให้ยังเท่าลีเชื้อชังบอพออังต่อตามพออังยังเกิดมือสมัยรูปเพียบนั่งมือ But carrying the cross means we stay committed to Jesus ตัวใบเจนทองสถานนับเพียบได้เมื่อต้องบ้าเมื่อต้องหัดโดยเชียปราชัยกระไรปนักกาได้ยังลีเชื้อชกางกาได้ยังนอนปองที่มวยคือมีในใจกาได้ยังปราชัยชดในชอบจมูกปอง No matter what it looks like มันท่าสถานนับเพียบนู่นเมื่อต้องกลวยอ้อจ้าหรือก็บ้า That we still stay committed เอาไว้ในสำคัญนู่นคือยังจิตคือบริษัทยังเตาแต่เอากับตัวตัวกับปราชัยชดเรศกาปราชัยชดบ่อเยอะนกนกกาดาตามปอง And sometimes it seems heavy and hard and difficult เปรคลาคาได้ประสาประกาศประยัดชัดนักเมื่อตัวเวียดโดยเฉพาะหะโดยเฉพาะเฉพาะตานตั้ง But we still stay committed ปนใต้ตัวไปเฉพาะหะให้ตานตั้งยืนเอาแต่สมรจะทัดดาตามปองแต่ได้ So say with me สมทาตามขยม I will stay committed to Jesus ขยมหนึ่งประยัดชัดดาตามพระคริสต์ And I will carry my cross หายขยมหนึ่งลีเชิดกลางบอกขยม So I will stay faithful to Jesus ขยมหนึ่งสมาตรองจมพัวพระสู And I will stay committed to Jesus. I show them that I just don't can pray Jesus. So on that Sunday, there were two, three groups of people, three individuals. Do you know how many at that 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 Paul and John told us not to come in by crom? The disciples. Crom ti moi ku pusa. The donkey. Ti pi ku sat lia. And there were religious people. ไอ้กรมที่ใบกือจีเนตดักนอมศาสนา The Jewish leaders กือจีเนตดักนอมศาสนาบอกจนเจ็ดยูดา And they confronted Jesus ให้โนเปได้เกิดขึ้นเปรสุกริเกิดจับดามขังสมบ้าจมวยพออังให้ให้เจียมกัดตัวพออัง And they said you should make your disciples stop ให้เกิดเยตการพออังท่าปรับปุ๊บซะก็มาปุ๊บซะทวนจังเทียด Stop celebrating stop praising you ปรับปุ๊บซะก็มาปุ๊บซะนอมขณีสัตว์สาวดมกลางเนะเลือกดมกลางเนะจังเทียด The religious leaders wanted to control Jesus โดยฉะนั้นเนะดักนอมศาสนาในสมัยลูกจีเยี่ยมกรุบกรองจีเยี่ยมก้มอ้อยพออังทวนาไว้แต่พออังเถิดทวน And they wanted Jesus to conform to their ideas ให้เกิดจังไอเปรสุกรีเพื่อตามและกันนะบอกปุ๊กเกย์นองเนียมจีเนตดักนอมศาสนาพออังเถิดสลับปุ๊กเกย์ But Jesus wouldn't do that พระเปรสุคริสต์พออังสลับเกย์พองพระเปรสุคริสต์พออังนั่งมันพลาไพร์และกันนะบอกพออังเอาสลับจมูกและกันนะบอกยืนตีเพราะพระเปรสุคริสต์พออังนั่งมันพลาไพร์และกันนะบอกพออังเอาสลับจมูกและกันนะบอกยืนตี Because he is so much more than what we think พี่บัวพออังทมเชียงพออังเมนและกันนะสมบัติละอเชียงหายชราเชียงยืน He exceeds our expectations. พวกอังอาจเลือกเปียวไว้นู่นเอาไว้ได้ยังลมปังตกตะเตี้ย So Jesus said, if the if my disciples don't praise me, the rocks will cry out. น้องแปลกปีบน้องเป็นเก็บชีวิตบรรจบพวกอังกมไอพวกสัตว์สัตว์สาวดมกลางพวกอังพวกอังบรรจลายตอบต่อการเนี่ยดังน้องสัตว์สาวต่อการวิจารบ่าพวกสัตว์ขยมมันสัตว์สาวดมกลางขยมเตะดมทม่อนึงสัตว์สาวดมกลางขยมจุดลุ่ม So the religious leaders wanted to control Jesus. ยัยมัดไอ้ใครเนี่ยดังน้องสัตว์สาวสมัยนู้นกึบชีวิต But พออังจะยิ่งตบพออังแต่ผมเชื่อว่าศาสนาต้องการควบคุมกาได้ยิ่งรู้เนาได้กรอนแต่ทั่วตามตุ่มเนียมตุ่มรอบเชื่อยิ่งอาการการต้องเอาหนุนเชื่อยิ่งบัดบังยิ่งเชื่อยิ่งตบยิ่ง But Jesus didn't come for religion Jesus came for relationship พออังอดบานยิ่งมอกดับไปทั่วตามศาสนาบอกจนเชื่ออยู่ได้ตุ่มเนียมตุ่มรอบบอกจนเชื่ออยู่ได้เต้พออังยิ่งมอกดับไปบังไปอันนั้นดับไปยิ่งมีตุ่มเนาตุ่มน้องจะมวยพออังวิ่ง And five days later พรำทั้งไงกรอยหมก One of those religious leaders, his name is Nicodemus. มีเนี่ยดักนอมศาสนาเหมือนเนี่ยแต่ชี้เยี่ยมกรุบกรองปองชี้เยี่ยมตบปองชี้เยี่ยมแข็งปองนู้นคือลูกนิโคเดม And while uh, the religious leaders confronted Jesus, นับเป็นได้ดับบงเกจับประดามตบปองชี้เยี่ยมขัดแข็งปอง Five days later, Nicodemus honored Jesus. กรมปุ๊กเกแตงมูฟชี้เยี่ยมเธอโดยใช้ประดายพรำทั้งนั้นพรำทั้งไงกรอยลูกนิโคเดมเหมือนเนี่ยนกนองเฉยนอมนู้นบานจับประดามทวายกันจะยุติต่อปอง Because five days later, Jesus Nicodemus helped bury Jesus' body. ปีปลัวพรำทั้งไงกรอยมองนับเป็นได้ปอง
Look, Nicodem got man, Chijim Chui, no Knonka, Yok Sapa Pong, and Chota Knonkno. He bought all the things necessary for Jesus' burial. Got Rip Chama by Crop by Yang Tang, ah, some rap, God, I rum press up. He carried Jesus off the cross. Got man, look, Presu Chris, Ban Chopi Lur Church Gang, and prepared his body for burial. Hi, Rip Chamba Kai, but Pong, and by that Cholong Pno. And I want to encourage us. Jim Chang looked at that bomb on. That when we look at Nicodemus, you can read about his first conversation with Jesus in John chapter 3. He was a religious leader and he didn't understand. But over the course of Jesus' life here, Nicodemus changed. He was a religious leader when we first met him. But by the time Jesus died, Nicodemus was a loyal follower of Jesus. And I believe that Nicodemus left his religion to have a relationship. And he was a loyal follower of Jesus. So when we think about this, we see that Jesus' followers are faithful. Jesus' followers are committed. And Jesus' followers are loyal. And for us today, as we follow Jesus, let's be committed. Let's be loyal. Let's be faithful. Let's carry Jesus wherever we go. Let's stay faithful no matter what we go through. And let's be more loyal than we are religious. So when we think about this, I would like to ask you to pray. And I want to pray for you. How many of you have had some areas where you have not been loyal to Jesus? And How many of you have been disappointed in Jesus? How many of you, Jesus didn't do what you wanted? This is true. And when you follow Jesus, it's not only for Jesus to do what you want, but so that Jesus can do what he wants through us. And so the question for you is being faithful, loyal, and committed. And I would like to pray for you that Jesus would help you with this. So I'd ask you to put your hand on your heart. Because these are heart things. This speaks to our heart. 
So I want to pray for all of us. If you're watching online, I pray for you as well. So I thank you, Jesus, for helping us. We are here and asking you to help us to be faithful, loyal, and committed. In those areas where we have failed and fallen short. In those areas where we've been angry and even turned away from you. Please forgive us. Where we have been afraid to follow you. Where we have betrayed you. Please forgive us, Jesus. And flood our hearts with your love. Help us to release the disappointment. Help us to release the guilt and shame. Help us to release the anger and disappointment. And I pray that you would fill our hearts with your love. And that we would sense you in our hearts loving us. Accepting us. Changing us. And working in our hearts to be loyal, faithful, and committed. Thank you, Jesus, for helping us today. We love you. And we receive your love poured into our hearts. In Jesus' name. Amen. 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 There is a verse to encourage you with. And this is in Romans chapter 5. And verse 5. And sometimes when we fail Jesus or we're disappointed, sometimes we feel disconnected from God's love. But it is my prayer for you. That you experience God pouring love into your heart. No matter what you're going through. And no matter what you've done. In Romans chapter 5 verse 5. It says. May the love of God be poured into your hearts through the Holy Spirit. Because Satan would tell you that you're not loved. Because because of what you've done or your anger. But your Father, your Heavenly Father loves you no matter what. Not because of what you do or you don't do. Your Heavenly Father loves you because that's who He is. And He doesn't change. And you don't have the power to change God. God loves you no matter what. And His love for you never changes. Even dying on the cross, Jesus continued to love the people around him. And God's love for you never changes. 
His loving kindness endures forever. So I want us to be encouraged in our hearts. No matter what we go through. That we remain faithful, committed and loyal. And I want to minister a few verses. Uh, I love to minister verses. And I encourage you that if this verse, if I call out a person and it's not you, but the verse... Uh, is is attractive to you then agree with it because a lot of times holy spirit will will kind of uh, poke you and say hey that's for you too so make sure you grab it also. So the first verse I have is for a lady through here and you have on striped white and uh, gray striped with glasses on the aisle. Behind the lady in the red. She just took her purse off. Now she's standing. Ooh. Wow. Way to go. <laughs> All right. So the verse I have for you is 2 Corinthians 10, verse 5. Then the Corinthians so there are some areas in your life where you have struggles in your thinking. And specifically, you have some struggles with fear. And there are some areas where you are challenged with worry. But in this verse, it says to take captive every thought that exalts itself above the knowledge of Jesus. So when you sense fear and worry starting to grow and get bigger and stronger, Bring Jesus to those fears and worries. And tell the fears and worries to bow their knee to Jesus. And choose to let Jesus be the Lord of your thoughts. Choose to let Jesus be the Lord of your feelings. And take captive. Don't let your thoughts and feelings run uh, without control. They must bow to the Lordship of Jesus. Because Jesus is Lord over all, including your thoughts and feelings. Amen. 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 Uh, the next verse I have is for this gentleman through here. You have on a rust shirt sitting next to a guy in a blue shirt, light blue shirt. So the verse I have for you is John 14, verse 26. No, no. ព្រះកពីយូហាន So just to encourage you the Holy Spirit wants to help you become more aware 
of who the Holy Spirit can be in your life. The Holy Spirit in this verse is a teacher. And there are things you don't know how to do. And you found yourself kind of stuck because you don't know how to do it. You felt God leading you to some things, but you don't know. You're kind of at, at stuck right now. And you've even said, how? But this verse is to encourage you that Holy Spirit is your teacher. And he can teach you how to do these things. And you may want to know uh, all of this, the, the plan. But sometimes Holy Spirit will take you one step at a time. And sometimes the steps may not make sense initially. But as you keep following each step pretty soon you can look back and see how it all makes sense and so when you ask the question how let that remind you to ask Holy Spirit, teach me. And Jesus says, Holy Spirit will remind you. And Holy Spirit, I want to encourage you, my brother, that Holy Spirit will remind you of this time. Holy Spirit will remind you, remember that lady from America. Oh, yeah, 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 yeah. How means that Holy Spirit is your teacher? You don't, and some of this you say, well, I don't have the resources to learn in education or classes or school. But Holy Spirit can teach you. And Holy Spirit's lessons are very perfectly designed for you as the perfect student. And Holy Spirit knows how well the different ways that you learn. So you can trust Holy Spirit to teach you. Because Holy Spirit knows best how you learn. Holy Spirit is the best teacher you will ever have. Amen. Amen. That's true for all of us. Alright, the next verse I have is for this lady through here. You have on a green shirt and, a, uh, and glasses. But, but, yep, yep. But. yep. And the verse, I have some verses for you. Job 28. Verses 12 through 13. And verses 15 through 16. And verses 15 through 16. And verses 15 through 16. And and God wants to encourage you that there is wisdom for you. And sometimes the things that you don't understand God is saying to you, 
I am here to give you wisdom and understanding. And wisdom is more valuable than anything you could see in the natural world. Wisdom is more important than silver and gold. And wisdom is found fundamentally with Holy, with Holy Spirit speaking to you. As you think about these verses, I would encourage you as well to read Proverbs chapter 8. Because Proverbs chapter 8 speaks of wisdom. And wisdom talking to you as an individual. Not just a theory, but actual person. So make wisdom your essential priority. And wisdom is not just human understanding. But wisdom is divine input. And wisdom is specific steps, ways, and plans. It's far better than anything human. So divine wisdom is called the divine upgrade. And God has it specifically for you. Be encouraged that God is filling you with wisdom. Amen. Amen. All right. It is wonderful to be with you. Happy New Year. And hope to see you again very soon. Hi, so come to Chuk Nien, and I'm going to